So ladies and gentlemen, the sky is the limit in geography. Whatever it is you like, whether as Dr. Jones was kind enough to tell me, whether it was wine, I spent 10 years researching the geography of wine, and I can tell you it was a lot of fun. <laughs> whether it is music, whether it is sports, I have a colleague who liked football and said, there's got to be a geography of football. And sure enough, there was. Where do the players come from? Why do they come from where they come? How long are they with the team they go to? And what then decides where they go? And he drew maps to show these diffusions. He now writes every program you buy at a football game has his column about football from a geographic point of view, except he doesn't use geography because you know geography makes people's eyes glaze over still in our culture. But the fact of the matter is almost whatever it is you're interested in, culture, politics, anthropology, economics, there's always a geographic associate. It's political geography, economic geography, historical geography, cultural geography. If we'd known more cultural geography as a nation, we wouldn't be in the situation we're in in the Middle East today. So let me urge you, I know some of you are already locked in a major, but you maybe can still take a minor, but I'll tell you again, there are no unemployed geographers. We need you, we are geographically illiterate, we are worse at this than almost anyone else on the planet. We need to get better. It'll Knowledge is power, and if we're going to be in competition with places we don't know, as we didn't know Vietnam, and I'm afraid we don't know China, we're going to be in deep trouble. So please, play your part, become geographers, and you'll never be sorry. Thank you for coming. Appreciate it.